I wanted to tell you a little bit about how to make and work with shortcuts a lot libraries. Man, they make your life so much simpler. I wanted to show you a couple of the libraries that I put together like here's the apple and the worm you find it in shortcuts a lot under shapes and instead of me going back and forth and importing and importing and importing and looking for files and wondering if I've got the right one I just use the library and then I can see the pictures instead of having to import and wonder. So that's a little bit about what a library does and it's real simple to make, very simple to use and on the website at adamsacres.com I'm going to give you the link so that you can download the SCAL Lib it Up uh, library software. It's free, it's uh, on Crafter's Edge and, and it'll just make maintaining and organizing your SVG files so much easier. So I'm going to show you how you go ahead and create an SCAL Lib it Up file to start with. Go into um, the folders or the files where your SVG images are. I'm going to click on add folder because I know I have a folder that's already completely full of all the files I want. And it's in... Um, you have to know your computer a little bit so that you can dig through all these folders to find out um, where your SVG files are. I always put mine in my Cricut designs. Okay, and I'm going to work with the bride and groom. I put all the SVG files I have related to bride and groom into one folder. So instead of me having to add individual files, I can just add everything that's in the folder. So hit OK, and there they are. There's the bouquet, the flowers, all of it is right there. Now if I wanted to add an extra file, I sure could do that. Again, you just go through your files and you find the one that you want and you click on extra file. Same thing if I wanted to remove this file and I did not want it in the library, I would just hit remove all. And here's a little preview of what we've got to work with, okay? So we would call it something that we like. We're going to call it bride and groom. And when you hit the export button, look at where you want to save it. I save mine in two places. I save it in my Cricut folder and I also save it in the folder that I have Shortcuts a lot installed into. And usually you'll find that in um, program files on your C drive or on your hard drive. So I'm going to go find Crafter's Edge. Here it is, or Craft Edge. And I look for Shortcuts a lot. And when you find Shortcuts a lot, you're going to want to export it into the library. OK, so we're going to hit OK. And remember, we called it Bride Groom. Now we're going to shut down Shortcuts a lot. We don't need to save those changes. And then I reopen Shortcuts a lot. OK, go into Shapes. There's the Bride and Groom, the first one I created. And this is the one that we created together. And there you see it. All the pieces are put together. Now, when you download, the SVG collections that I have on AdamsAcres.com, you'll see one of those called an L cut in the file folders. It's not in every one, but in some of them that have lots and lots of pieces. What you want to do is save that file into your Shortcuts a Lot library. And just go back up, look on your computer, again, find out where it is. It's usually in the programs folder or wherever you installed shortcuts a lot under Craft Edge. Make sure you put that file into the shortcuts a lot library. It'll be an L cut file and that'll have all of the things done for you so you don't need to make your own libraries. This is Charity Adams with AdamsAcres.com. Stop by and get some of our free SVGs for your shortcuts a lot software. Have a great day.